Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the an updated version of this uh, the tutorial for the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulation Simulation. Can't talk today apparently. Uh, map enhancement for so it overlays Google Maps over Bing Maps in the sim. So uh, right here is what it looks like, like uh, on the web page. It's at uh, flightsim.to. I'll have the link in the link in the description below. But here it is. This is the UI. This they changed the UI on it. Uh, it looks cleaner. It looks nicer too. I really do like the uh, the dark side of it. Uh, the dark side. Anyways, <laughs> uh, and uh, so yeah, you have, and plus they now put descriptions on each server and which one provide each one provides. So mt.google.com, they provide the best resolution when flying low and seems very up to date. A little bit of a typo there, uh, or. Yeah, mispronunciation or miswording there. But anyways, with Google servers, images are the same. Choose the fastest from MT and KHM server. In some places, Google servers are are blocked. You should set up a proxy. So yeah, if you want to use this and if you're not in any area that you can't use this, you have to set up a proxy um, or VPN uh, to be able to use it. Same thing is said for this one, exact, exact same description. Then you have Bing Maps, the latest Bing Maps. Uh, so instead of using the old Bing Maps, which is in the simulator, uh, you can go to this, which gives you the latest of what Bing Maps has. Then you have the ArcGIS. Uh, it provides natural color than Google servers in some areas, but it lacks high resolution data when flying low. Some areas have different satellite images and different resolution. So you'll, you will see image changes when flying low. Uh, ArcGIS does not need to be used in a proxy. Okay. And then you have Mapbox. Mapbox provides better and newer images in some places. Please sign up a, in, uh, a key in whatever the, this website uh, and input it into the config. Mapbox access token provides 200,000 tiles for free. Please consider use uh, use the rolling cache in some game, inside game, or enable the cache inside this mod. Which that brings up to another thing. I did not know they. I don't know if they added it or if it was already there, but they apparently have cache in the mod. Uh, which I was not aware of. But yeah, right there it is. Cache size. Uh, yeah, you can change the size of the cache so you can it'll store everything so you don't have to keep downloading it and so on, which is kind of nice. This is the proxy right here where you would put the proxy. Uh, if you want to make it even easier, I wouldn't. Uh, I, if you are in an area that you do cannot use you know, Google Maps, you just uh, get a VPN, change the VPN to a different region, and you should don't quote me on this, you should be able to uh, use the VPN. Uh, here's where you would put the token in uh, for uh, the map box. Uh, let's see, high low uh, LOD. When enabled, the image server will uh, load four images from the next LOD level. For example, when uh, MS uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 asked to provide images from level 18, the image server will load four images from level 19 and merge them. The image Microsoft Flight Simulator receives is 518 by 518 images compared to 256 by 256. Cache is recommended to enable uh, to enable to increase loading speed. All of this cannot be this can provide higher resolutions and improve image quality, but the loading screen may slow because Ford X images need to be loaded. More memory may be needed uh, well, used because of the four times larger images are four times larger so that just tells me that you need a beefy system um like my computer my computer has got 64 gigs of ram there's there's no way there's no way that it would uh, it would cook my computer or it would do any issues so but yeah right here it is uh with new about uh, page uh yeah and that all you have to do is basically like you did before. You would just go here and start uh, start flying. And then, yep, there it is.
Uh, it actually will show you now the, the size, usage data, cache hit. It still shows you the loaded images and the satellite imaging it's picking up. So, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to, and I, I highly encourage this too, to donate Donate to this these this organization that is coming uh, that is creating this. They are doing a phenomenal job of this, and it's creating better content for flight sim. And I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. And I'll continue to use this over anything that flight sim has. So uh, that's being said, well, we're going to do another comparison video, see if, uh, and basically do a better job of it than last time. Thank you. So we're now in the simulator and we're in a Cessna right now about to take off. Uh, so there has been, I, I, I just did a quick flyby and there has been some changes to the satellites. Uh, there is a more up to date satellite version uh, or uh, satellite data they have. So we're going to go and take off and we'll show off. This is the, actually where I'm from, I, where I currently reside in Marysville, Ohio. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take off from Marysville. This is with Google Maps uh, installed, like the uh, enabled. So like the, you see the grass there, you see where the, the mowing lines are and everything like that. It's much more defined. Um, you see the parking lots with the cars a little bit better. So this is inside Marysville where right now flying above Home Depot, which obviously it's not going to model as if it's Home Depot, but you can definitely see that things are more defined right now. There's an apartment complex right there. Ooh, that was a sharp angle. That wasn't there before. Now it's been updated with the latest image. Now we're paralleling, parallel, parallel with uh, Route 33, which goes into Columbus. Columbus you can see the actual Alpha vehicles Sierra, on the, uh, the satellite Texas image of the semis and cars on the roads. Like Romeo Tango, 1,600 feet. Request flight following. Yeah, I mean, the, you can definitely see the coloration, everything, it's more, I, I feel like this uh, Google Maps is much better, and I feel like this update actually brought, uh, like, pop, made things pop out a little bit more. It could be just also that the, the, uh, the map is more up to date. But now, they're right now flying over. We're leaving Mary's, but going towards the Columbus direction. But yeah, you can definitely see it. it looks good. We're going to go ahead and flip over to the Bing side of things. So, stand by. And now we're in the Bing maps. We are doing the, uh, this is the, the stock version of the maps and I already can tell that it's really really lower quality but we're doing a quick little flight and then uh, just to give you a little lay, uh, lay of land and I'll show you the differences obviously uh, but yeah I'm hoping everyone really enjoys the um, the updated video with the new UI and everything if you have not subscribed already to my channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button it helps me out, and it really it encourages me to do more stuff. Um, also, hit that hit, uh, hit that like button, really, if you can. It'd be great. I greatly appreciate it. But yeah, right there, you see the differences. They're um, lower quality. We're going to go 33 towards Columbus again since uh, I went that way originally. So you get to see uh, what it looks like. 
And yeah, you can definitely tell it's lower, lower res. Uh, Google the Google Compass Maps. Cessna Alpha Sierra, it looks a Gold lot Sierra. better. Detect Cessna Skyhawk, two miles east of Kilo Mike Romeo Tango, one thousand six hundred feet. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra, X-ray Gold Sierra, Columbus approach. So. Squawk seven four one two. Squawk seven four one two Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. There it is. So we're going over right now. We're. My Scott's Lawn Miracle Grow company is. And you can definitely Roger tell that the, the farm fields are lower res. The yeah, it's all around. It's just giving a comparison. This is what it all looks like. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. And uh, like I said again, uh, like I said earlier. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I have some more stuff that comes out. I do some random flights, uh, and I also do some iRacing simulations. Now, just in case you guys are interested in some iRacing, uh, I mean, I do that. I love it. It's, it's probably one of the coolest things I, I, I've done really is sim racing, especially with my setup. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.